Hi everyone, I'll be taking your reading for today. Today we're looking at a dreamtime story called Maloon Kangaroo, written and illustrated by Judith Moorcroft and Bronwyn Bancroft. Um, it's to do with the first people who learned to surf through the Maloon Kangaroo, which was also known as the Kangaroo Spirit. Um, they started by placing a piece of wood in the water and there they created a surfboard. Let's go, Maloo Kangaroo. I'm loving the illustrations already. How the first children learnt to surf. Maloo Kangaroo lived in the wide lands beyond the tall tree country. But he had a great longing for the sea. So he ran and ran and ran until he came to the sea country. Waiting on the beach were the first children. What gift will you give us? asked the children. I will show you how to play with the ocean, said Maloo Kangaroo. He took some wood and he worked it, and he shaped it, and he rubbed it, and he smoothed it, and he floated it upon the water for the first children. The children took the gift of Maloo Kangaroo and swam out into the sea. They learnt to balance and they learnt to guide it. They learnt to skim across the water like flying fish. To leap the waves like shining dolphins and to ride the high crests. Or swoop and fly before the crashing breakers like bright birds in the sunshine. Then Maloo Kangaroo went away to his own place, but the first children stayed in the sun. And they played with his gift and with the sea. If you go to the beaches in your own time, up and down the coast, you will see people surfing. And you will find that they skim across the water and ride the high crests and fly from the crashing breakers. On surfboards, very much like the one that was first made. For the first children by Malou Kangaroo. The end. Hmm. I've made a connection with this text. I know that I've seen people surfing. I've even tried to surf myself. Didn't work out very well because I know that it takes lots of practice. But I can make the connection with the text that I've been surfing before. And I've seen people surf um, the waves or what, what they've called the crests. So your job today is to retell this story, um, maybe using three dot points in your writing book. Talk about three things. Remember to use those time connectives like firstly, secondly, thirdly and finally. Okay, to tell me three things that happen in this story. Like I said, use your writing books. That way you can send a photo on um, by uploading it to your student portfolio on Class Dojo. I can't wait to see. I'm sure you can add a illustration at the bottom. Um, we've practiced our dot painting through our healing stones. So I can't wait to see your writing as well as your illustration. Talk soon. Bye.